on hers. Hers was hanging over just a little bit. Like this one's hanging over just a little bit. And she just took and said, let's just trim it off. That's what she did. Trimmed it off. So then what I have is a room for one, two, three, four, five, six pages. So... Um, and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to distress it so that it looks good. Some parts of it will show down in the binding part of your book, so that's why we're doing this. That's why I'm doing this. I don't know. So if you look down, you know, where the book is, you'll see the crease area probably. I don't know. We'll see. But irregardless, I've got it all. side of it. Okay, and that will all, this on the sides might show, the bottom will be on the bottom. So, that's how that works. Then, um, going to take and right here is where this will live. We'll take those two bottom pieces of tape off and this is where it'll live. Uh, in the meantime, let me make sure they all go back and forth. pages of turn. Ooh, and this one might be just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to take these two pieces off the bottom. very sticky so we've got to really work on getting it right in the middle I'm not sure how far down to um, I want to do it like this so I can see how far down and how far over I think that's pretty okay. It's a little closer to this side, tiny bit, I think. Yeah, it's more like a fourth of an inch over there and an eighth of an inch over here. Hmm. Well, you know what? We're going to live with that. As long as they're, as long as it's straight, which I think it is. Now, what she does in hers is she she uses envelopes for the for the pages. You can make your own envelopes. She makes her own envelopes, so she'll cut 
Um, and what she basically does is takes any uh, paper, any design. I'll just show you on this one for now. She'll take a paper, let's say like this, and then she makes an envelope out of it in some form, whatever she does on here. She'll, you know, maybe seal these sides completely up. So this is a pouch and then she'll put other pouches and different things on side of it. And then when she gets ready, she'll put it over top of this, which this one may be just a little bit too small. And then she glues it there and there. And, and so that would be one page and then you'd have another page, another page, another page. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to distress a lot of the edges of this. I think that would be prettier. And especially any white pieces that were left. Then I'll have to fill in all the dates because this is just a anytime calendar. I'll put the month, the year, and then the numbers, which I like doing that so it doesn't bother me at all. I mean, they have stickers that you can uh, that you can use. A lot of. I've never really done this on my non-stick desk thing, but let me get my handy dandy paper out that I was doing all the edges with. see where it's covering some of the white pieces from the other side. You know what that means, I didn't cut them perfect. <laughs> uh, we'll show them, we'll just darken the edges. <laughs> okay, then I'll do really cute little labels for each month. So, and then I've done this postcard where I cut a background, which looks like it's a little bit crooked. And I put a postcard on it so that I could use it for a possible, some of my charge cards, you know. I can put charge cards in my driver's license. I have to have several different things throughout on all the pages. Now, like I said, what she did for pages, you know, she used envelopes. I don't have, um, I mean, I can make envelopes because um, I have an envelope maker. But I think, like, I think I want you know, I could put like things like these together and make envelopes, if you will, and then have those be a page and then put stuff all over that page and then have that, you know, a different one be a page. And I think they're supposed to be four by six. Um, so I would need little flaps to do like this where I did them, where I fold them under to make like little envelope flaps. So let me go figure that out and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm working on pages right now for my vintage planning planner wallet. I want to be able to have my planner and my calendar and my wallet and everything all together. So I'm making some pages uh, for that. I've made some off camera and some on camera. So then I want this one to be uh, 
I'm going to make it a little wide, I think. I'm going to make this instead of four and a half wide because I want to fold it over. I'm going to make it uh, this. I don't have any space. Here we go. Here we go. So that's five. So that's five wide, and then they both needed to be six and a half. And this should be exactly six and a half. Yes, and this one needs to be six and a half. Exactly six and a half. Okay. So then. Put this right in the line. There we go. Okay, so this is ready to be the next page. So, let's see which way I want. I want this side up. So I'm going to score this this shouldn't be any wider than four and a half so four and a half so I'm gonna we'll have that much of a flip And then this one should not be more than four and a half also, so it's going to be a little bit more. And so it is, I don't know if I want it to fold down that way, I think I do, on the top. Oh, it should have been on this side. Because, hmm, yeah, it should have been on this side because the, 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 uh, this is the way the page goes, so if it was going to fold, it should have done it that way. Shoot. So maybe I'll just cut it off four and a half and not have a lip on this one. Okay. That's what I guess I'm going to have to do. So four and a half is exactly right there. And it's probably going to be where my fold was. Yep. Okay, I'll save that strip though, because that's kind of cool looking. Okay, so this is four and a half. And I may have to fold inside just so that it gives it a better... pouch to put things in. So I would tape it up each side here, because this is what hooks down on the book to hold it together, and then this will be a pouch to... Um, to do that. Well, actually... I can do something like this if I wanted it to be strengthened or put this piece that I cut off exactly inside to give it uh, strength. Kind of cool on the outside though, I think. But it should maybe be a different. Oh, that's even nice. I think I might do that. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll put tape on score tape on this. I have my score tape laying right here. So that's an extra piece. This is an extra piece. Put my ruler away, my pencil, my little baby scissors. Um, this extra little pieces here. I need that one. I need these two pieces. Okay, so this is the pieces to my notebook. I think I'll just set those over here. And I was looking for the this. Okay, so 
I'm going to check on my YouTube video right now that's going up, and I'll be right back.